We got certified to teach English abroad last year in July. This is the story of how we got certified, bought our tickets, and ended up coming to Taiwan. We had a better idea of where we wanted to go and not so much what we wanted to do. We did our research and found that teaching English was the best way to get a foreign visa for Taiwan. To be teachers abroad, you need to have a TEFL certification. So we did our research and found a TEFL course in Toronto. We didn't know what it would be like beforehand, and we didn't even know how much nitty-gritty we'd get into in learning about how to teach. Lucy was the only person who had experience actually teaching. I have no idea what I was doing. <laughs> So it was a completely new experience. By the way, we're on our way to go check out camping stores here in Taiwan and see what we can find. We were living in Toronto at the time and there are a whole bunch of options for Toronto TEFL courses. And if you're in any major city, there's definitely going to be options for you there as well. But for us, we decided to go for an in-person class. We thought taking a class in person and teaching in person is going to be better because if we're going to teach in person, we might as well learn in person. So our course was three weekends in July, Saturday and Sunday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. at night, okay? One hour break in lunch there, and we did this because it was the easiest time to get it all done. We could go in, go, 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 and that ended up being 60 hours of in class time, plus another 40 hours online, which we did at the start of August, and that's, that was it for the course. So the people in the course were completely different than what we expected. There were people from all walks of life, different ages, and a whole variety of interesting perspectives were brought into the classroom. There was even a teacher there who had taught in Ontario before, and she brought a whole bunch of experience which we didn't know about and added to the classroom. So it doesn't matter what age or what experience you have, it's good, you're going to take something from this course. Notabene. Some places a hundred hour course is not worth it. You need to at least a hundred and twenty hour course. Some of the places we applied to in China required a hundred and twenty hour course and we didn't realize it. So first things first, make sure that you know where you want to go before deciding on the course. Because there are even some places that don't require a course and you'll get the same experience out of it. Some even will give you a TEFL certification after completing a year-long contract. Lucy wanted to teach adults and I wanted to teach kids. So taking the course was mostly geared towards how we could teach kids. But you're teaching adults during the course. Yes, and it happens to be that now I love teaching children and I love teaching adults, which is completely crazy. Yes. Shop number one, free time here. <laughs> Thank you.
do outdoor research, literally right beside Freedom. The last weekend of the course was demonstrations by each of our classmates and ourselves, 15 minutes long to essentially pass the course, the final test. Lucy annoyingly did better than I did, by a little bit, a little tiny bit. Uh, then we had a 40 hour online teaching component after where we went and went through grammar, classroom management, all that stuff, and had a big test at the end, and we got it mailed to us, our 100 hour, you've completed the course. And that was it. Then we had our certification. We were ready to go. And overall, we think it was a good, it was worth it. It's necessary for Taiwan. And we really liked it, except we didn't learn as much as we had in the first week here in Taiwan. We learned so much more about teaching and about classroom management here in Taiwan and actually teaching courses. That was our biggest, our biggest con to the whole class. Otherwise, it's a fantastic experience and it's if you want to come you should definitely do it next week we're going to talk about applying to jobs and our process from going to not having a job to having one our interviews and all of that thanks for watching our video hope you got a little bit about how we got our certification in teaching and TEFL in Toronto next week we'll have a little bit more for you in the meantime, let us know your experience getting your certification or where you got it and what it was like down below in the comments. If you have any questions, let us know down there as well. While you're down there, make sure to subscribe and send us a like so we can keep producing amazing content for you in teaching. Bye! So we just finished looking at all those camping gear store places because we're comparing prices for our gear that we're gonna buy for our Trans-Siberian trip in which we're gonna be camping through Europe. So, so far, we know the prices. We haven't purchased anything yet. Do your research. <laughs>